Data Monster started out as an iPhone app where kids actually created a little cartoon monster and they set this monster to have moods or size, the, the size or the color of the monster would change based on things that were trending on Twitter. Um, so the kids would make a monster and say this monster likes peanut butter and dislikes kale. And so if kale gets mentioned more than peanut butter on Twitter, then you know, the monster would, would get sad. The most exciting part of this for me is that I'm not a programmer. This is the first robot that I've ever built. With these platforms, things like Galileo uh, running on the Arduino platform, there's just so much stuff available online. That you're able to, to go and take, for example, a bit of code that controls a servo motor. And you, know, you can just copy and paste that code and change what you want it to control. Data Monster responds to things that it sees. And it's easy to program how it responds. Like, you know, does it does it you know reach out and try and stab you? Does it you know pull back? Like, it can do all kinds of things. So it can listen to like traffic statistics. Um, these guys, because of just the first proof of concept, they check Twitter. You give them uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot to connect to. They use a little a laptop Wi-Fi card, okay. just a low cost eleven dollar Wi-Fi card that you plug into the bottom, and it checks Twitter specifically for tweets that mention Data Monster. Seeing something move and, and engage with you um, becomes much more captivating. It, you, you can't walk by it if it's, if it's interacting with you. You just have to stop and engage with it. Um, so the physical presence um, becomes a much more engaging way to interact with data. So it's, it's reacting to you, but the way that it interacts with you depends on its mood, depends on things that are happening in the world. All of its movements are, are dampened. There's kind of a spring function that pulls. So, so when it sees something uh, using its optical sensors here, the infrared sensors, its attention is pulled towards whatever the latest movement is. The idea is it's a simple to build kit. So the entire thing is built out of one sheet of plywood. Okay. Um, we've got the laser cutter patterns online. So you can take those patterns down to your local, uh, your local hacker space, your local school. Um, any place that has a laser cutter. And then we have instructions online so you put it together. Um, it's using very low cost components. These are cheap servo motors um, and uh, cheap distance sensors. Everyone that you build behaves differently um, depending on who builds it. I mean, our, our code is just a starting point and the idea is that everyone can quickly build this thing and make them their own.